Din 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 ya din din din. Hi, I'm Gindi Walker. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a custom Trinava feather that I got from Regeni about 12 months ago. So this is the sword, and I've got quite a few things to say about it. But the first thing I want to say is that I sell swords. And this particular custom um, design of sword is one that I sell, as well as a few others from Rugeni. Um, I'm one of the official distributors in Australia. So obviously I want to sell swords, but the reason that I want to sell swords is so that everyone has decent swords. Um, there's a lot of crap out there and there's a lot of really good stuff and we need to be really clear about which is which. I'm specifically reviewing this sword because it is a custom sword that you cannot actually get as a standard offering from Regen. You have to contact them and say, these are the modifications that I want to make to the Trinava. They've also changed the name of the sword since um, I bought this one 12 months ago. So originally it was called a Trinava and then there was another style of Trinava called a Trinava Simple that had a less elaborate shilt. So you can see there's a little bit of shaping and so on here. So the Trinava Simple had, had none of that. Now what they have is a Trinava Medium, which is like this. They have a Trinava Strong, which um, looks slightly different in the shilt, but has some similar shaping. And then they have the Trinava Light, which um, doesn't have the shaping. It's the same as the Simple. But irritatingly, um, Regeni also has a blade classification system of light, medium and strong that is different to the uh, classifications for the Trinava. So a few things about this sword. This is uh, 29 centimetres long in the handle, including the pommel, and it's 92 centimetres long in the blade. So it's fairly short for a standard Regeni. Um, most Regenis come in as standard about 100. You can easily get exactly what you want. And because I do Fiore and other earlier longsword um, fencing, I like to have something that I could reasonably expect to draw out of a scabbard and also comfortably use in one hand. So that's why it's the length that it is. Um, in terms of the handle length, that's pretty much entirely based on my preference for being able to have roughly three fists on the grip. Um, and also be able to comfortably use the sword when I'm wearing reasonably bulky gloves because I like to actually spar with it. That's what's really good about it. So the other thing that's custom about this is that rather than having the medium or the strong blade, this has a light blade. So the blade is much thinner. And this is in fact, um, I said the most flex that he can do, which is a six kilogram flex. Um, I'll do a short explainer on the flex system. Um, Light is six to eight kilos, medium is sort of 10 to 12, and then strong I think is 13 to 15, but it could be even more than that. The strong is honestly way too strong and I don't think that they're actually safe for fencing with. They're probably okay for drills and they're certainly very durable, but um, the mediums and the lights are much, much better to actually use if you'd like to keep using your sparring partners. So um, it's very, very flexible. What makes a Trinava different from any of the other sort of standard feathers from Regeni? The big thing that makes the Trinava different is that the width of the blade doesn't change the whole way along. So you can see that the width here is the same as the width here, and it has a somewhat distinctive shield design from the others. Because the blade stays so much wider, it can get a lot thinner up towards the end without losing too much mass. Um, and also without losing too much rigidity from the side. So it's still fairly rigid on the blade, on the edge, but on the flat, it's quite floppy because it's quite thin. That's really great for doing thrusts. Um, and it's also really nice for blade handling. The sword feels more like a sword in terms of having a bit more weight out here. So it feels more like a sharp does. Um, there are a few things that make swords more and less dangerous. Um, having the weight further out does make them hit harder and so that's something you have to be aware of but at the same time because this is the light blade there's so much less mass in it the overall weight of the sword is less so this one comes in at uh, around 1.4 kilograms I think um, whereas uh, a lot of other Regenius come in at 1.5 or 1.6 so that's really nice 
um, and obviously being shorter also really helps with that. So it just has really nice handling. Um, I've had it for 12 months, six months of that, I was able to use it for free play and sparring and drills and all that sort of stuff. And then for the last six months, I've just been stuck at home using it um, in front of a camera or waving it around. I think I've used it for fencing once in the last six months, but um, it's still handling quite nicely and, and I don't see any problems coming up with it. So that's what the Trenava is. Nowadays, if you wanted to get something like this, you would need to contact Regeni and ask for a Trenava medium with a light blade um, and confirm the exact flex that you'll get. And make sure to check it when it arrives. Um, and the Quillians are the standard shorter length, so the 25 centimeter as opposed to more, um, and then 29 centimeters in the handle. You can also go to 28, that's okay. Um, and I wouldn't go less than that just because you, you run out of room. So now um, I'll just do a quick explainer about the flex testing regime and how that works. So this is the Regenu flex test. I've taken my, um, my custom fedder with the extra flex blade. This is the most flex you can get in a blade as standard and you push the point of it into the scales, which should be regular human scales. And as you push, it will continue to deflect until at a certain point, it will just stop changing the number on the scale. It doesn't matter how much more you push. And that's the point that you record. So as I'm pushing down, I'm getting about seven kilograms, which is very good. It means that when I do a thrust, only um, seven kilograms of force is gonna go through the sword into the other person much, much safer than other options. So now I'll move on to the medium blade. So the medium blades are generally significantly stiffer because there's more mass in them. And so they're a bit more durable, but they also are more stiff, so they're less safe. And they'll typically come in between 11 and 13 kilograms, where the light blades come in at um, seven to nine and a half. So this one's giving me about 11, which is pretty good. And these are still great for, um, for sparring and, and drilling and all that other sort of stuff. I think they're excellent for that. But if you're going at a higher level of intensity, the light blades are a bit better. And then just for comparison, we've got a strong blade. This one's a couple of years old, so it's not quite current. But the current reading, rating for the strong blades is around the 15 kilogram mark. And when I press this one in, you can see it's deflecting almost not at all. And it just keeps moving the scales. It's like a crowbar. And I'm getting about yep, 20 kilos. So um, this is just incredibly stiff and it's unsafe. It's, it's basically only good for drills and even then you have to be pretty careful. So that was the Regenu flex test and I think it's an excellent test for any sword. So those are the features of the Trenava medium with a custom blade and a custom length grip and blade length. Definitely get these things with a light blade. I think that they're an excellent sword. I'm, this is probably the most happy sparring sword that I've had so far. Um, it does cost a little bit more, but it is really worth it. The swords from Regeni, um, some of them are great. Some of the standard options are okay, but not great. If you ask for a, a better option, they can do it. That's one of the things that's really nice about working with Regeni. If you disagree with me, if you disagree with me, put it in the comments. I'd love to have a little bit of a conversation about this on YouTube. That's always fun. We'll see what, what other people think. <laughs>